Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another magnificent video of mine. So, we are on our way to work this morning. However, I just figured I would show because we've been having, as you can see, it's 23, some super cold weather this week, and everything, that was fast, I'm sorry, all frosted over, and now I know most people, like, don't like that, but I... I understand, like, being cold, but I love the cold. So, I think it freezing is awesome. I think it's super cold. It's awesome. And I like the snow. I don't like driving the snow to work, but I like the snow. And then, see, I, I just like, like winter a lot. So, it's now down to 21 out. And so, I'm not going to film on the way to work because it's icy and I'm going to pay attention to the roads. But, I just want to show how cold it is this morning. And, I will, uh catch you guys in a little while what's going on guys so I sh filmed the other morning what you just saw hopefully maybe um, and I had plans to go to the gym that night we we're gonna do some deadlifts but then I ended up having to go get some stuff for my Christmas party for my work Christmas party that we had last night so I am not going to the gym so that's why I didn't film anything further that day and so now we've pushed it off to today. So, we are on our way to the gym, and we are gonna hit some deadlifts, and it's a pretty good thing, because after I was gone all last weekend, and I don't know what it was before that, because I'd left on Friday, so I had gym on Friday, I missed Saturday, I missed Sunday, and then I think I missed Thursday, I don't know what I was doing Thursday. Oh, Thursday we went to dinner for my birthday, so I had missed it for like four straight days, and then by Monday, when I hit legs again, by Wednesday, they were dead. So it's like, I was glad I ain't, or I ain't gym Monday either, that's it. So on Tuesday when I did legs, by Thursday, when I had to go get my shopping, I was dead, my legs were dead. So it's a good thing I didn't do deadlifts that day. But we're feeling good today, feeling strong this morning. And it's now, as you were saying, it was really cold and snowy, and now it's, not. It's back up to its 40s, and it was raining last night, boy. and it's clearing up this morning, but it's supposed to rain again, so it is what it is. Let's go. Let's go hit some deadlifts. Hey guys, welcome to the commentator section I'm doing for this video, as I haven't done one in quite a while, and I figure this would be a good time to kind of go over a few of my things in my training and everything about what, where I'm at with it and what I'm doing with it. And so I, and I've been doing a lot of higher rep uh, workouts, trying to get a lot of reps in, just work on form and get higher reps I'm not used to and just do it all because I've always done short uh, rep ranges and sets and everything. And so I just figured it'd be a good time to switch it up a little and just get a bunch of volume and cut down a little more of what I'd like to do and so everything I do or I've been doing that on everything I've been doing some pyramid works where I do like sets of 10 or 12 10 8 or 15 12 10 and then back up so I'll do like 15 12 10 12 15 on accessories and I've been doing a lot on my core compound lifts I've been doing like bench and squat I've been doing up to eight reps which is not necessarily a huge amount, but for me, that's a lot on the compounds. I don't do that much. But on deadlifts now, I've been doing, like, I don't ever go over five. And the reason I don't go over that on deadlifts is because for as, with bad form, as dangerous as it can be as a lift, I want to make sure I'm always doing the form as well as I can. And I know myself that if I do a little too much, uh, get my form breaks down and I don't want to have my form break down on deadlifts at all. Um, so that's why I go ahead and keep the weight or the rep ranges lower so I don't have to mentally like stress about if my form's gonna break down and put on it. I know I can get the form up to five reps as far as I think it is. I never have injured myself on it. I've never had any pain from it, never hurt myself from it. So I feel at least up to five, I can do it, no worries. So I keep it at that range, and I've been doing a lot of increase incremental training kind of thing where I start off 
I do it like 315 and I start it, for example, and then I go up 10 pounds. So I do 315 and then I do 325 and then I go to 335 and I just go up either until I feel I've done enough today or failure level or I've been doing it. I just give myself from a break to a break. So I've been going to like 315 to 405 and I do 10 pound increments until I get all the way up there. So I've, it, it's working for me. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling stronger about it all, and I don't think there's going to be, like, if I was on a more structured thing, I help, but I think for my own personal enjoyment right now, especially with the holidays, with stuff can come up, and who knows what can happen, events happen, even if I should be a lot more stringent on my diet, however, I'm not a lot of time with holidays, you get together with family, and there's just food, and it's fun, and I try and enjoy the holidays without going overboard, so maybe coming to around the beginning of the year. I can switch up training a little, get more structure, but until then, this is kind of my workout plan. I'm going to keep going along with you guys, and when I switch it up, you'll definitely know. So, thanks for listening, and enjoy the rest of the video. So we just got out of the gym. I don't know why I won't talk. Sometimes I'm trying to like think of what I want to say instead of just saying it. And so I like start my intros weird and it's awkward and I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, we just got out of the gym and it was, I did a lot. I feel good on my workout. But when I started deadlifts today, I did not feel like great like doing it and like it just felt like it was going to be a rough session the whole time. And so I just pushed through it and I got through it and I feel good about it. So we got some time to kill now and we are going to run across the street here to some Dutch Brothers because Courtney got me a Dutch Brothers card for my birthday and so we're going to use it now. So I got a medium. Uh oh, wow, that was, I'm going to stop right here. So. I got medium peppermint bark mocha, and I love peppermint pretty much everything, especially during the holidays. I think it's amazing. So, any coffee I get, especially this time, it's way too much for my bean eater. Uh, this time of year, it's going to be peppermint bark, or peppermint, not necessarily peppermint bark. I got peppermint protein at home, too, so I just love peppermint, and I think it's amazing, and it is amazing during Christmas season and so that yeah that's why I get it and I'm not ashamed of it right now so I think I'm gonna jump over here and get a car wash because I got a little bit of time to kill oh my gosh maybe I will skip this because look at the line I think I'm gonna skip it today because I just don't want to sit in that kind of line so I don't want to do yet so I decided to just go ahead and slowly make my way to Courtney's house and we may go to a Christmas parade tonight, depending on the weather and how we're feeling tonight. So it looks like there's a lot of people in town right for it and that's, it's a lot, it's hot in here. I don't know why, maybe it got 50 degrees up. But anyways, so I guess I could cover like, so I'm trying to really stick with like, I try and eat right all the time and hit my macros and hit my numbers and all this all the time. However, there's a lot of time life comes up and I try and enjoy life and not let the diet and like, focus on me too hard. Uh, so, like in the case for like this, getting a coffee and enjoying it for the holidays kind of thing, I just really focus on saving a couple hundred calories for take this into consideration and just eat a little less than I normally would and that way I can try and make up the difference and still enjoy some of my stuff and not be too overly concerned with it and hard on myself because there are certain times life is really important it's most important and so you got to revolve everything else around it so like I don't have this every day so if I want to do it once a weekend I'm gonna do it and enjoy it and 
not feel bad about it because that's the hardest thing you can do on yourself and on any diet and on any, any workout plan, anything you're doing in life. If you make it too hard on yourself, you're not going to enjoy it. And it's just going to be hard and it's gonna, you're not going to stick with it. And so, as I've said before a lot of times, just enjoy life, enjoy the small things in life, make big accomplishments out of small things, and it will really help you a lot. So here's, as we're passing, there's a tractor for the parade tonight. So we may go do that, that could be fun. So, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Hey guys, so, as I was saying, I say that a lot, I apologize. Like, when I come back on scene, I'm not sure how to start off, and so I say the same thing a lot. I apologize ahead of time. However, I'm on my way home, and as I was saying that I don't know how much we do if we're doing anything, um, because a lot of time we don't have, like, plans ahead of time. We just make it up at the day of, or whatever the case. So, we don't always have plans going on. Sometimes we don't really do anything. So, we are just, or I'm just heading on home. So, I figure I could, a few minute talk, I can talk about what my intent going forward with my channel, um, what I like doing on it. Like, so I have come, like, I wanted to have a long time to always make my channel, like, do the videos, because I think it's fun. I just think it's a cool concept. I did video editing in high school, and I enjoyed it a lot, and so, this just gives me a way to try and keep at it and do it even more, so, I try to figure out ways to make things interesting and fun, so I'll just have the same content, like, all the time, and so... I'm trying to find a medium of between my work day, the gym, and then find some stuff that's going to be fun and entertaining to do. And so, sometimes it doesn't always happen because we don't do anything because we just between work and the gym. And so I like, been wanting to try for the most part. I want to be entertaining. I want to have fun stuff, but I want to like show in a direction that you can still work out, you can still make relationships work, you can still have uh, workout, you can fitness, you can eat right, as I've shown a lot of my lunches and what I have for breakfast and different stuff like that. You just make everything, try and find ways to prioritize everything in life and every day, and so, even when it's busy. So I wanna, like I'm trying to figure out find a way, I'm going to play around with some, if I should do, try more one video, like two a week maybe, and do one, like a gym video only, and maybe two shorter videos, or keep the weekly like I'm doing, and do fitness, the gym time in it, as well as the vlogging aspect because I really really enjoy vlogging like I think it's so much fun I think it's it's just cool to share your life share your everything you do everything about your life and then have those moments and memories and videos later on in the future to look back on it like always have that like you can always remember it and have it but to be able to see it over and like replay it, it is amazing. And the whole thing we live in here now, we can do this, is amazing. And I love it. I like the creating it. I like making the content. I'm just trying to figure out a, to make my days more entertaining so it's not the same boring for you and for everyone watching and involved in. So, so I got the video. We got a video this week. I've been off a couple weeks. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Not a lot of film-worthy stuff. Just a bunch of stuff going on. So we got one going. Back on back on track. One every week, at least. We can get more on. We'll work on it. But hit the thumbs up, guys. I hope you can see me in this light. I can't see with my cracked screen, which I mean, we're gonna have to look at a new camera or. Uh, get the screen fixed. So, thank you.
thanks so much for watching guys hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe buttons as I notice everyone I like, check my stuff I appreciate everyone more than you can imagine like every single view and like and sub excites me because I want to be entertained. I like to put myself out there for enjoyment, for entertainment, for help, for advice, whatever the case may be. And then if I can reach anyone, anyone new, the same, the same return viewers, everything, I love it. I love you all. I love doing it. I love the interaction. I just enjoy it so much. So thank you so much. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I greatly appreciate every one of them. And yeah, I'm going to go home and the bed because I am really sleepy. So thanks again. I will catch you guys next week.